Hey, what's up everybody? I am Brittany Hiller and I am your go-to goddess for all things yoga, massage, and laughter therapy. I am a possibility coach and I help you by giving you tools to use daily to create a life that you desire and love. That simple. <laughs> the trick, of course, is you must do the work. So when we work together in my Yes to Possibility coaching program, you get all of the tools and the tips and the tricks to work with me and everything that I utilize in my life to maintain a happy and possibility-filled manifesting life of desire. It is amazing. So today, we're going to talk about what do you do two different ways to raise your vibration when you feel low. So your vibration is obviously your feelings, right? How you are going throughout the world. And sometimes we can vibrate on a really low level. And when we do that, that's when disease can kick in, especially if we stick in it, right? So if you get on that low feeling where you feel sad, where you feel angry, where you feel as if nothing can go your way and you get stuck in that realm, that's when we start to really truly vibrate at a lower level. And that's where we can create disease and discomfort in our life. So to not only avoid doing that, but with a way of being able to um, get out of it quickly, I'm going to show you two ways on how to increase your vibration and allow yourself to lift up in your spirits so that you can be on that higher vibrating level. Higher vibrating levels, joy, bliss, um, spontaneity, excitement, all of those things are at the higher frequency. Happiness, the lower frequency, stress, anger, disappointment, um, woe is me mentality, right? So we want to be at a higher vibrating level in life to really begin to feel our joy and then begin to manifest all that we desire in our life. That's where that comes from, from that higher vibration. All right, cool. So our very first way that we can do that is if you feel, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk a little bit about myself first. So yesterday I was feeling really, really, really low, like in a low vibrating level. And what I did to help myself get out of that was I went for a walk. And this is tip number one, getting outside into nature. I went on multiple walks because the first one was just like, it was good, but it wasn't what I really wanted. So I went on it again. This time I took my dogs. And then this time what I did is I just began to really engulf myself in everything that surrounded me. So looking at the trees, looking at the beauty of nature as it surrounds you and the animals that are there. Um, look at the sky. If you have bad weather at this time, then that's where tip number two comes in. <laughs> and tip number two was really helpful for me yesterday as well. Shifting your mindset through reminding yourself of all of the things that which you have already. And you can do this in a simple manner. What I like to do is ask myself questions. So the questions that I ask are what energy, space, and consciousness, right? Because all of these three things I am as you are. We are energy, we have space, within us and we are consciousness so allowing what energy space and consciousness can i be can i be to be the contribution of joy that i truly be and so when i'm not vibrating on that that high frequency and i'm at a lower frequency i want to thereby shift myself up to that contribution of joy so how can i contribute joy and how can joy contribute to me so that is the question that I ask. And then I begin to notice it's sometimes sudden and sometimes it's not, but there's a shift in the way that I am perceiving the rest of my day. So it truly is through choice as well in this manner. So when you find that you're at a really low state and you're saying, okay, I just, if I don't do anything right now, I'm going to stay in this place. So what I do is I find myself the opportunity to shift before getting into my story. My story of, woe is me, nobody likes me, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I really can get into a creative story because as a, as a creative myself, 
they can get really in depth and they can get really far in history. So instead of going there, because again, I have the choice to either stay in it or bloom from it. So I choose to bloom from it, utilizing the mindset shift of asking questions and then going by the feeling of it. So checking in with my body, noticing what does it want to do next? So when I asked that question yesterday, the weather was great. I was able to go outside. What was it that, what energy, space, and consciousness may I be to be the contribution of joy I truly be? What I got from that was go outside. So I went outside. And by going outside, I walked. By walking, I felt better. By feeling better, that raised my vibration, and so on and so forth. So it allowed for the next day, today, to unfold better than I could ever imagine, which was wonderful. So I ask you now, what are two ways that you raise your vibration whenever you feel low. Feel free to share in the comments here while you're watching. And I can't wait to continue the conversation after this live video. And if you like my shirt, right, because it's super cute, coffee, Netflix, and yoga pants, <laughs> you can grab one for yourself at my Laughing Yogini store. I hope to see you guys soon. Have a wonderful day. And it's a beautiful Monday. How will you ever imagine to spend it? better than you could ever imagine. I'll talk to you guys soon.